name is Ruth Kendrick. I use she, her pronouns. Um, I work in the school-based services department at Cornerstone. What that means is that I work in schools, educating teens about uh, consent, healthy relationships. It also means that I have a caseload of students that I work on and one with. And my name is Gretchen Weinrich. I am a general crime victim advocate. We provide support and assistance to victims of general crime, which is um, all crime types besides domestic violence. They were looking for retaliation against coworkers who spoke out and tried to have a say. They were looking at trying to stop that. Unfortunately, a pretty long history of people who cared about the organization, cared about their participants, cared about the work, and who wanted to make our organization better. Taking a lead in various committees in our organization and trying to accomplish meaningful change at our organization um, who would find themselves sidelined, ostracized, and eventually pushed out or fired from the organization. Recourse was really something we were looking for for people who found themselves in situations like that. And then all of the things that plague the workforce right today in the nonprofit world, which is uh, too high caseloads, long hours uh, being, you know, changed at the last minute, being scheduled overnight, being, you know, begged to come in for an additional shift. Um, and working a job that takes a huge emotional toll. Um, and just, so really the organizing efforts were to kind of address some of that day-to-day, -day, like emotional stress, um, and especially emotional stress on top of like an already really just demanding workload and time requirements. Realizing that we had successfully voted our union in in uh, June of 2022 was at first like a huge weight lifted off of our shoulders, right? That um, at that point, almost nine months of, uh, of organizing, it was so gratifying. And I think also uh, really a theme that kind of ran through our organizing efforts was this realization that the organizing process kept being tripped up every time we would lose a significant amount of people who were involved in the effort, whether that's because they became burned out through both the work and from organizing, or they received a higher wage at a different location, or they were terminated. We realized we just kept losing the numbers, and so when we made the decision to go public in April of 2022, it was like, all right guys, this is it. This is the push, because if we don't do this now, we're going to lose half of or all of our organizing team again just because we couldn't keep up that momentum. So to realize that we'd finally done it um, in June of 2022 was a huge relief, followed by a lot of work. It was sort of in the middle of our negotiation process, we felt like things were not really moving in the negotiating room. And so we wanted to make sure that uh, management knew that we were all in it together and so we had uh, just a little march outside of our Minneapolis location, held signs and marched and shouted. It was after hours mostly but we do have a 24 hour call center there so people knew that we were there um, and it certainly uh, seemed to have a really big impact at our next negotiating session. It was extremely gratifying just even within the first week or so to hear from people we had never heard from. One of our staff members, who's that advocate, she's in IT, like came to my office to thank me for my work on the negotiation. And I'd never talked to her about the union before. And she was really pleased about everything we got in the contract. And I heard that from so many of our colleagues. Um, we'd had sometimes a hard time getting people to come to our meetings or, um, or whatever, but once it was done, they were by and large just extremely um, grateful and impressed and pleased with what we were able to get. We did a lot of training with Tim um, to understand like how the process was gonna go. We ended up kind of, because of the way that our management um, wasn't very prepared, as prepared as we were, had kind of had to restart sort of halfway through. So it ended up being a lot of hours and a lot of learning. It was kind of how our, our field representative, Tim, told us it was going to be. We were some really high highs and some really low lows. Many of the things that we were going through throughout the contract negotiating process, hopefully people won't have to go through again because we now have their strong and in language. We're, we're proud, proud to be Cornerstone Union. Union.